Artificial intelligence is already all around us in unseen algorithms controlling most devices connected to the internet, from smartphones and security cameras to smart TVs. But these use basic technology compared to what has just burst onto the scene. At the Mobile World Congress, the hot topic is ChatGBT, a generative AI chatbot that uses the web and deep learning techniques to generate new data from existing data. Backed by Microsoft, it's taken many in the industry by surprise. Forming and, and shaking the industry. And this is, mm, has been possible because there's a lot of data and computing power that has been included in these algorithms and transformers uh, to create really true generative AI. Uh, and for text, for images, uh, combining these two, it has a lot of opportunities. Currently free with 100 million users, people are instructing it to create everything from job applications to works of fiction, even writing code for robots. Competitors are quickly developing their own versions. So our demo is similar to what ChatGPT is, and our product is 1.6 times faster than our competitor, and only consumes 40% of the power. And another 450 startups in generative AI are vying for investment, which totaled $2.1 billion in 2022 alone. But currently the tech has zero regulation, and some in the industry are voicing concerns over how it will be used and the lack of a safety net. My main ethical concern will be the, the bad use of these tools to create more fake news. Now it's trivial to create fake content in many languages with this and also using things that other companies are doing, like uh, generating images or videos and voices, and we have that in the movies, you can generate a video of any person in the world speaking with the right voice with the text that you invented. One of the biggest concerns around generative AI is its potential to create what's called hallucinations, facts or images that look convincing but aren't rooted in reality or the data that it's seen. It could be a picture of a cat with seven heads or a document with made up references. And it's this that is causing some creators to hold off releasing their versions until they've ironed out the kinks. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.